It looks like Netflix might be gearing up to take on the Need for Speed franchise, especially since they've been killing it with their video game adaptations lately. This could mean a fresh twist on the story, which sounds pretty exciting. According to IMDb, Need for Speed 2 is in the works as a follow-up to the 2014 action flick with writer George Gattins on board. But we don't have any casting news yet, so we're still wondering who's going to play Toby Marshall's son in the sequel. That role is super important, so fans are definitely curious about the casting choices. With Netflix's track record of making adaptations work, they could really revitalize this franchise and give it a much-needed boost. So, here's everything we know about Need for Speed 2. First, let's dive into who could take on the role of Toby Marshall's son. This character will likely need to embody a mix of charm, determination, and raw talent behind the wheel. A few young actors come to mind who could nail this role perfectly. One possibility is Finn Wolfhard. Known for his breakout role in Stranger Things, Finn has that youthful energy and charisma that could really resonate with audiences. Plus, his experience in action-packed scenes could translate well into the racing world. Another strong contender is Jacob Elordi, who gained fame from Euphoria and The Kissing Booth. His brooding yet relatable demeanor could add depth to the character, making him not just a racer, but someone with a compelling backstory. We can't forget about Noah Jupe, who has shown impressive range in films like A Quiet Place and Ford vs. Ferrari. His ability to portray vulnerability while also showcasing strength could make him a great fit for Toby's son, especially as he navigates the pressures of racing and family expectations. Then there's Mason Gooding, who has been making waves with his roles in Love, Victor, and Booksmart. His natural charisma and on-screen presence would make him an engaging lead. Plus, he's no stranger to high-stakes drama, which is essential for the intense world of underground racing. Whoever steps into this role will need to connect with both the high-octane world of racing and the emotional journey of following in Toby's footsteps. Fans will be eagerly watching to see who gets the nod, as this casting decision could set the tone for the entire sequel. Having said that, let's dive into the possible plot for Need for Speed 2. It centers on Toby Marshall's son, who's grown up in the family workshop and has a serious talent for racing and customizing cars. Once he hits 18, he decides to jump into the racing scene, quickly showing everyone he's a formidable contender. But things get tricky when the story takes a page from the recent NFS games, featuring corrupt cops out for revenge against street racers. These officers infiltrate the force and unleash high-performance cars to make life hell for everyone. But Marshall Jr. is no slouch. He opts for agility over brute force and builds a Lotus Elise that excels in tight corners. While balancing his college engineering studies, Marshall Jr. meets a girl who becomes fascinated by his passion for racing. Initially shocked by his street racing lifestyle, she eventually gets pulled into the action herself, revealing her hidden talent. As they gear up for the De Leon race, an intense event packed with multiple stages and crew swaps, tensions rise. A rival racer, possibly connected to Dino, seeks revenge for a past loss and tips off the corrupt cops about the race, putting Marshall Jr. at risk of arrest. The plot thickens when the girl he's dating turns out to be the daughter of one of those corrupt cops. She's not on board with her dad's actions and tries to warn Marshall Jr., but Toby, clueless about her intentions, steps in and forbids his son from racing. Feeling conflicted but wanting to support his dad, Marshall Jr. decides to turn his mom's 2015 Mustang into a tricked-out anti-cop runner. Meanwhile, his girlfriend secretly passes him insider info from her father to help him dodge the law during the race. This high-octane narrative showcases Marshall Jr.'s cleverness and resourcefulness, packed with adrenaline-pumping action as he and his crew navigate the underground racing world. When the De Leon race heats up, Toby's crew finds themselves in a wild chase with the cops. And just when things get intense, Marshall Jr. swoops in to help out, using intel from his girlfriend to evade capture. However, disaster strikes during the race when a massive crash leaves one crew member unable to drive, and Toby can't step in due to an injury. But Marshall Jr. isn't one to back down. He jumps behind the wheel of the Lotus Elise and puts on a stellar performance, narrowly missing first place but earning the respect of his rivals. Of course, there's always that one jerk who mocks him for bringing a Lotus Elise to a hypercar race, completely missing the fact that he outperformed everyone. And just when it looks like all hope is lost, Marshall Jr.'s girlfriend arrives with Toby in one of their old cars, revealing that a De Leon associate leaked info to the cops. 
Furious over the betrayal, the De Leon community quickly disqualifies the culprit and welcomes Marshall Jr.'s girlfriend into their crew. However, her choice to defy her corrupt father leads to serious consequences, resulting in her being disowned and moving in with Marshall Jr. and his family. As the crew celebrates their hard-earned victory, the groundwork for Need for Speed 3 starts to take shape, with a lingering thread of revenge from the disgraced cop hanging over them. The aftermath of the De Leon race brings a sense of unity among Toby's crew, marking a fresh chapter for all of them. Marshall Jr.'s impressive skills solidify his spot in the racing world, while his girlfriend's courage sets the stage for more thrilling adventures. As life starts to settle back into a routine, Marshall Jr. and his girlfriend find comfort in each other, supported by Toby and the rest of the crew. But with her father lurking in the shadows, ready to make his move, challenges are definitely on the horizon. Yet they're determined to face whatever comes their way in the underground racing scene. That being said, several factors help Need for Speed 1 turn its not-so-great reviews into profitability. The film hit theaters in mid-March 2014, a time when there was less competition from other action movies. With a production budget of $66 million, it was a relatively modest amount, especially compared to the soaring costs of Fast and Furious sequels, which were starting to climb to two or three times that. Ultimately, Need for Speed grossed around $194 million, more than covering its costs even without considering home video sales. In April 2015, a sequel was announced as a collaboration between the China Movie Channel, Geoflix, 1905 Pictures, and Electronic Arts. This decision was primarily influenced by the first film's success in China, where it raked in about $65 million at the box office. The plan for Need for Speed 2 included shooting in China and involving local creatives, addressing the elements that were missing in the original film. However, since then, there hasn't been much news about its development. A big part of the delay can be attributed to shifts in the global market. After the COVID-19 lockdowns, Hollywood began to pay less attention to the Chinese box office, especially as many major releases struggled there. Recent successes like Fast X and Meg 2 The Trench, the latter being a co-production with China Media Capital, stand out as exceptions rather than the rule. This change is significant compared to when Need for Speed was first announced, a time when films like Warcraft earned nearly half their total box office from China. Unsurprisingly, the rumored Warcraft sequel, much like Need for Speed 2, has also faded from view. What do you think about this proposed storyline for Need for Speed 2 and the potential for Need for Speed 3? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to share your ideas for future videos. Thank you so much for watching our video today and we'll see you in the next one.